Hello, true duelists. My name's Craig Fee, and welcome to the New Card Report. It's that time again where we look at the new cards coming to the OCG. This time round, the Chicken Bomb deck gets three new cards, and the Rescue Series gets a new recruit. All of this and absolutely nothing else on today's New Card Report. We start first with Fire King Avatar Hanuman, which I'm not correcting if I said it wrong. You won't believe it, but this new Fire King monster is a level 4 Fire Beast Warrior. It has 1600 attack and 200 defense. This card, like just about every other card in the archetype that's level 4, can special summon itself from the hand if a face-up Fire King monster is destroyed by card effect. And it doubles as a spell trap negate as well. Able to negate and destroy a spell or trap card or effect when it's activated, and if you do, you'll destroy a fire monster on your field or in your hand. That's okay. An in-theme spell and trap negate is never a bad thing, realistically. The summoning condition makes it easy enough to get out, and the stat line means that we can keep on playing rekindling if we choose to do so, says my 2013 copium huffing ass. It doesn't break the deck, but having something to stop something like evenly matched is never going to be a bad thing. What is a bad thing is that he has hands for feet. That's fucking horrifying. No, I'm completely ignorant to the existence of monkeys. Shut the fuck up. It's not as cool or as good as the Xyz that we got last time round, but you know what? Fuck it, we'll take it. On to the next card. Fire King's Sacred Immolation is a hell of a name and a quick play spell with two effects and artwork that desperately tries to be more than just an orange box and only just barely passes at doing so. The first effect lets you target any number of Fire King monsters and an equal number of monsters the opponent controls and destroys them all, in quite possibly the most convoluted Dark Hole-esque effect of all time. But it's on a quick play spell, so I'll allow it. And for icing on the cake, it's a Grave Saver, able to banish itself in place of your Fire King monsters if they'd be destroyed by card effect. Now initially, it might seem wild to have destruction protection in a deck whose entire purpose and line of effects rely exclusively on the monsters being destroyed by card effect. But the Chicken Bomb affects us all, destroying all of our monsters and the opponents during each standby phase in which it comes back, which can be a downside if you want to push for an OTK. So having this in the grave on the standby for when the Garunix does the Chicken Bomb shenanigans, it's not going to be a bad thing if you want to go and push for game. Plus, like I said, it's a pseudo quick play dark hole. That, that, that's playable. And yes, I'm aware this card targets, which means it is not dark hole-esque, but I don't care. I, I Chicken bomb boom. I, I, this deck is just makes me think dark hole, and so I see destruction, and I'm like, well, that's dark hole. Is that correct? Nope. You can go ahead and comment which card this is really more like. Like Super Tribute to the Doomed? I don't fucking know. I also don't really care. The card's solid. Let's move on to the trap. And last up, yeah, I, I just said it's a trap. I, I ju that was in the, in the segue. This new normal trap goes by the name Solidarity Strike of the Fire Kings. I'm sorry, strikes and solidarity? No, Konami, I prefer to keep politics out of my game, says I, a man with no reading comprehension whatsoever, let alone the understanding that words can have multiple meanings. Strike. Strike. This card on activation will summon a Fire Wing Beast, a Fire Beast Warrior, and a Fire Beast Monster, but one each has to come from the hand, deck, and grave. Their effects will of course be negated and they'll be destroyed during the end phase. Twisted TG Link Monster, but in a trap? Abyss Squall, but better. I suck at comparing cards to other existing cards today. I don't know what to tell you. It also has the effect that you can banish it from your grave to make the opponent unable to respond to any Fire King monsters that are normal or special summoned. Just, oh, you want to negate the summon? No. That's cute. As is always the case, how much better would it be if the spell and trap effects were just reversed and the spell could summon three monsters and the trap was a big disruption? Probably would make more sense, but Konami doesn't make sense, they make dollars, so we end up with the trap and the spell being the way they are. It's too bad that this is ultimately a 2013 deck cosplaying as a modern one. The trap's a big plus if you can get it to resolve, but only being searchable off of Barong, and Barong only searching in the following standby phase after it was destroyed means you're searching it on like turn three, or turn two to set on turn three to activate on turn four. 
Jesus Christ. I know they're fire kings, but that's a long walk for a short sip of water. And water's bad for this deck because it's fire. It's bad. It's bad. It's not bad, but it ain't good. There's one last card for Chicken Bomb coming up as a deck, as I understand it. God willing, it's a quicker search effect in some capacity than current Barong. Overall, the support isn't exactly too bad, but it definitely could be better. Which is funny, because that's probably the exact review you can give Fire Kings as a deck in 2013 when they first appeared. Time truly is a flat circle. And last up today is the new V-Jump promo. Yes, Rescue Sonic the Hedgehog has had its effect revealed, and we can see where it falls on the Rescue Quality Cuteness chart. Scientifically confirmed, of course. Another level 4 beast with 300 attack and 100 defense. This card can banish itself from your field to summon two level 3 or lower monsters from the deck with the same type, attribute, and level, with one being an effect monster and the other being a vanilla. Their effects will be negated and they'll be destroyed at the end phase. And of course, Konami remembered that Levier is a card this time around, and as such, Hedgehog got the once per turn. It's definitely niche, since it needs to be playing a vanilla, but I suppose it does have its uses. People have pointed out Skull Servants as the most memeable choice to go for your unga bunga bigger number type plays, but a more relevant choice could possibly be Sun Avalon. This can get out Loki and the, I think it's Shadow from the deck. And if they've taken any damage in the turn, maybe you can, you know, don't heal up and tech in like emerging emergency rescued rescue. Or that's what I initially had written down until I actually took the time to look at rescued rescue because that spell card needs you to reveal three of this thing, at which point any subsequent copies of the spell you play would be dead. And I don't think Rika Sun Avalon needs three hedgehogs and three of that spell to, to be playable. Are you mm, top eight at worlds? I don't know. I don't know, maybe we can throw in some hedgehogs. I mean, aesthetically I'd prefer it, but practically that shit's bad. That and, you know, it's a, it's a, it's, it's okay. It's okay, it falls somewhere in the middle on that scale. Uh, I think it'll probably be usable depending if we can find some good vanilla tuners in certain decks or if new cards come out that have low level tuners, I don't know. As it is, it's better than hamster. It's not much of a bar to clear, but it's a bar to have cleared. And that's a win in and of itself. Round of applause for that one alone. And now that the cards have been covered, I've got a lovely bonus for you. That's right, it's just me selling out. Thanks as always go to today's sponsor of the video, the LIFD Magnetic Display. The number one way to support my channel currently and the true Duelist approved way to show off all your favorite cards. The script actually goes on to mention Fire King cards, but I threw rescue animals in it because they are cuter and I'm probably just going to put Hedgehog on the thumbnail. Clickbaiting. Regardless, if you want to show off your rescued animals, if you want to show out your badhouse dragon looking things, because Lord knows we got enough of those in Yu-Gi-Oh! Whatever you want to put on display, you can do it today using one of these bad boy cases. Now I can give you 15% off by using my promo code YGOSTRATS15, type it in at checkout, or have it apply automatically by clicking the link in the description of this video. Thanks to LIFD for the support as always, and thank you for watching. So that'll wrap it up for this new card report. Just covering some of the new cards in this one. The regular update will be out on Friday, as always. Until then, I've been your host, Gregory Feganite. And make sure you subscribe to YGO Strats for next week's update and this week's update to impress your smoking Italian wife and so you too can be a true duelist. And last up, yeah, it's a trap. I just said I just said it's a trap card. Solidarity Strike of the Fire Kings. I'm sorry, Solidarity and Strike. Sorry, Konami. I like blah blah. Oh, fucking kill me.